I doing? We're Group H, the Dysfunction Destroyers, and we're here to tell you our solution for making MBA groups work together effectively. We believe in three key things, building a strong foundation of trust, establishing a framework and ground rules for group participation, and rotating responsibilities within the group. We're going to demonstrate the effectiveness of our solution by telling you the story of Blake and Tyler. Hello, my name is Blake and I'm a recovering bully. My name is Tyler and I'm a recovering slacker. Let us show you what we used to be like. Good morning guys, so how was your weekend? How did it all go? Pretty good. Yeah, it was good. Um, so the agenda for today is to come up with a plan for our YouTube presentation. Um, I know Tyler's not here, should we wait? For yep, we don't need him, let's start. He's always late, why don't we just go ahead. Okay, so should we do a quick round table just to see what ideas we have and then start with the plan? No, no, we don't need to waste time doing that. I've already come up with the best idea we're going to have. Well, I kept came up with an idea last night when I was thinking. Actually, I think it's a really great idea. <laughs> Adam, I, Adam I doubt it is better than the idea I came up with. Here, have a look. This is what you're all doing. Really? I don't even understand what I'm supposed to be doing. What's like? What's my role? What am I supposed to do? Are you serious? It's so obvious. Blake is such a bully. I know. Hi all, what did I miss? Here's a plan, Tyler. Oh, thank you, Blake. So for this thing to work, I need to get information from Tyler first. Tyler, would you be able to finish that tonight? No. The bachelor's on tonight. Well, when do you think you can finish it? Hard to say. Can't really tell you. I guess I'll just do it myself then. I'll just have to miss taking my son to the movies tonight, but whatever. Good call. I like that idea. I'm really worried with the way we're going, we're not going to get a presentation done on time. The deadlines don't make any sense, and the way you want it done, we're not going to be able to finish it. Is this really the best plan for the group? I think you're wrong. Just look at it again. I hate this group. Blake and Tyler had been part of other MBA groups who tried to deal with their bad behavior in many ways. They tried ignoring them, confronting them, and telling on them. None of these worked. Their attitudes didn't change until they joined the Dysfunction Destroyers. The group knew they'd need effective alternatives so they could work together to achieve their goals. Our strategy can be broken down into three parts which ultimately destroy dysfunction. The first is we have to build a strong foundation within the team. We believe that trust can be built by being vulnerable, openly sharing mistakes and weaknesses, or in just being human. Constructive criticism is the healthiest form of discussion, and we have to remember that it is this passionate discussion that generates great ideas. Some examples of activities that help build the team stronger are openly discussing your personality profile or sharing personal experiences. Once we have a strong foundation, we can establish a framework to help the team achieve its goals. We set ground rules, create a distribution of tasks and roles in the group, and implement regular review sessions. These pulse checks allow us to make sure we're meeting deadlines and that individual and group goals are being met. The third strategy we use to destroy this function is to have each team member take a turn leading the group through a project. This will give each member the opportunity to exercise trust encourage meaningful debate and discussion, and be responsible for making sure that the agreed-upon guidelines are adhered to. Everyone benefits from this exercise. They get to experience being in each other's shoes. This was the first time I understood the effect my behavior had on others. I saw that everyone has a valuable contribution to make, and I learned what it meant to be part of a team. I'm now on my way to recovery. I learned the negative effects of my actions on the team. Using the group's framework, which emphasized trust, respect, and meeting commitments, I realized that everyone had to pull their own weight. I hope to never repeat my actions again. 
I'll probably start tomorrow.